is situated over here. Yeah, folks. It's gone. Last time you see me in the last video, it's when I had uh, a whole monstrous uh, amount of hair on my scalp. In it's been two weeks since I had it done, um, since I had a cut rather, and still trying to get used to it. I'm getting accustomed to the low cut. Haven't had my hair cut in a plethora of years, and um, just trying something new, trying to embark on a new journey, trying to embark on new knowledge and maybe a new way of thinking and new way of life, maybe through this haircut. I don't know, but I'm back. It's been about 10 or so days since I've uh, actually been on here to, to do another review and, you know, just been kind of going through one of those spells like all YouTubers and any type of influencer goes through to try and get back into the swing of things and trying to get back into a space where they can feel comfortable, where they can be able to give the best product to the viewers and consumers and whomever. But so today I have five fragrances that are for the cold generally, but you can pull off in the warmer weather. Okay. So without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, I almost forgot, you know, three claps, your boy Swain's back. Now, let's get into it. So the first fragrance that I got for y'all today is going to be from Banana Republic, and that is none other than Tobacco and Tonka Bean. And I always praise about this one. This is like my favorite from the line. And this is something that you can definitely pull off in warmer weather. And uh, this is just phenomenal. It's it has this pear, it has the vanilla, it has the tonka bean, it has the tobacco in there. Sweet tobacco, but nonetheless tobacco. And this is just a pleasantly good smelling fragrance. This is something that, once again, is geared more towards the colder weather, you know, because it's uh, more dense and more sweet. But I believe that you can pull this off in uh, a warmer climate where if there's a light breeze, this is surely gonna be something that you're definitely gonna be pulling compliments. I get about six to eight hours on this and then it comes becomes a skin scent for me. And this is always going to be in my rotation. It does not matter because this, this is what really put me on. This is one of the fragrances that I had done on my videos that kind of catapulted me within my fragrance journey. So gotta give this a shout out, Inexp inexpensive fragrance can't go wrong with it you can definitely pull this off in the warmer weather all right so that's from banana republic tobacco and tonka bean all right so the next fragrance that i got on this list is going to be from the house of calvin klein and that is going to be ck shock and definitely uh, a shocker for this one to be in the lineup of you know fragrances that you can wear in warmer weather and i definitely do believe that this can be pulled off in the warmer climate and because it just it has this cucumber note that that's very uplifting and aromatic oh man this is just has cardamom lavender has clementine they had they have the note of clementine in here as well this is a ooh, man yeah yeah you can this is something that you can definitely pull off in the warmer weather this is something that normally i would pull out when it's very very cold you know like when i put on a hoodie you know i douse myself in it you know because it's frigid outside not now but when it was at the time i went to town on this bottle i don't even know and that's another thing i don't even know how much is in there i'm just going by the weight of it so i think i still have a good amount of juice in there so you're getting 10 plus hours with this fragrance people like trust me this is def this is still in your rack stores at ross burlington tj maxx for under 20 dollars. you can't go wrong with this because this can be good for the winter and the warmer weather and uh it's sure to pull you compliments. You're not going to get um, people that's going to say that this is not the fragrance for you to wear it during this time because who's to say that? It's only when you uh, 
are in, like if you're going to Florida in May and it's like scorching hot and you're trying to put on this and literally you're trying to down the whole bottle on your body that you're definitely gonna choke someone out. You don't wanna do that. So this is another banger that you can pull off in the warmer weather. Can't go wrong with it. CK1 Shock. All right. So the next fragrance that I got in this list, and don't mind me if I sound nasally, if you haven't seen my picture on the community tab, you will understand that this allergy season is not my thing. You know, spring, I understand that things are becoming brand new. You know, things are blooming, things are kicking off, but I don't want it to be uh, kicking off with my allergies because it's been kicking my butt. But I'm here and I wanna get to this next fragrance. So the next fragrance is going to be from the House of Primo and that is going to be Spice and Black Vanilla, okay? So this is supposed to be like somewhat of a clone of Spice Bomb, but honestly, what I get from this is the subtle Spice Bomb. Trust me, I've smelled Spice Bomb before. I've had some samples of the Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme. And when I tell you those are strong and they give you a lot of power, trust me. And with this, you can get away with it because it's so subtle, but it's still noticeable. Like this is something that's going to make people want to, uh, you know, it's, it's an alluring scent. So people are going to come to you instead of you going to people and then them smelling you. It's just kind of like they're gonna fi find the scent trail that wherever it came from and it's gonna, you know, lead up to, to you and you're gonna let them know that this is like maybe like a 15, not even maybe $12 fragrance and uh, they're gonna be bamboozled, you know, at the, uh, the fact on it's that much. So I get about six, six hours, I'm not gonna say eight, but you know, this is definitely a scent that you can basically rock out. It's, it's sweet, but also obviously spice. It has a little spice in it. You know, I would say there's more sweetness to it, but uh, the, the the little the little bit of spice that's in there would be able to kind of contrast so it's not too overtly sweet. But you can definitely get away with wearing this in the warmer weather. Um, if you're going out to a casual event, um, if you were, you know, just going, just going out, you know, just on your daily runs, you can pop this on, but, uh, definitely great, good scent, inexpensive, go grab it, all right? Spice and Black Vanilla from the House of Cremo. So the next fragrance that I got in this lineup is going to be from the House of Roberto Cavalli, and that is going to be Womo, all right? This was also in my Black Bottle Banger video. Make sure that y'all check that out on my page. Okay. And with this, this seductive honey lavender, man. This, this real rich, seductive, and sensual scent. I honestly would say that you can get away with this in warmer weather only if you spray this maybe twice. And that's all you need. You know, it's because you once again, you don't want to kill anybody with the overly sweet fragrances that because there are people that put on sweet. They, they don't care. All right. They do not care. But when you do care about people's uh, olfactory and their, their sense of smell and their sensitivity to smell, then with certain fragrances such like these in this list, I would just have to say that, you know, just tone down the sprays on them. But they're, you're more than welcome to wear these in the spring in the spring in the warmer weather, all right? So once again, you have the violet, you have lavender, you have tonka, you have the honey. It's, mm, smells super, super nice. I get about six to eight hours on this fragrance and uh, I only wore this a couple of times during the spring, not recently, but last year when I did have this bottle and I definitely been getting a lot of attention with this. You know, I work in close quarters and it's, you know, obviously we're gonna have the AC inside, but I would walk outside, check, you know, the vicinity, make sure that everyone's safe and then come back in. And then, you know, it's it's like literally, I'm walking back into the sillage that I just created, you know, and definitely still on the market. Hopefully it's gonna still be on the market because you know, as, as we all know, they just wanna cut and discontinue fragrances just out of the blue and they they don't care. So um, 
good pickup. Definitely something that you should put into your repertoire of your fragrance collection because you can use it for the colder weather and the warmer weather. All right, so that's Roberto Cavelli's Romo. Once again, don't forget to, to watch my video, The Black Bottle Banger. This is one of the bangers of many that I have in that one. Go check it out, all right? So the next fragrance that I got in this lineup is going to be from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, and that is going to be Intenso, okay? This fragrance has been getting a lot of flack, has been getting, has been getting crapped on a lot because of certain reasons, which would be the longevity, projection, you know, um, and just overall, like, it, it doesn't project, it, it doesn't last long, basically, you know, the longevity, but, you know, if you're a... Uh, if you appreciate fragrances and you appreciate the, uh, the the work that the perfumers have put into the bottles, then it shouldn't matter how long it lasts. Now, if you spend uh, an enormous amount of money on a fragrance, then I would hope that it does last longer than, you know, four, four to six hours like this fragrance. But once again, if you appreciate fragrances, this is all you really kind of need. Like, and... You have basil in this, you have lavender, you have amber, very woody and earthy. Has somewhat of a citrusy and watery take on here too to make, to give it this, uh, this, uh, this aroma of uh, being aromatic. And this is definitely something that I can see someone wearing, you know, going down to the shore, or going down to the beach, um, or going, or just going out to a place where it's warmer, you know, Right now, we're, we're having some consistency in, in terms of the weather being in the 60s, but later down the week, we're going to have a lot of rain, so that means more flowers are going to be blowing, meaning more eye drops are going to be put in my eyes, meaning more tissues I'm going to be blowing my nose in, and it, it's a whole lot, but this is something that you can definitely make your signature scent as well. Can't go wrong with this. Definitely inoffensive. You can wear this in office spaces. You can wear this outside. You can wear this wherever you want to, in the bedroom if you want to, because it's not crazy, you know, uh, loud or anything like that. So it can definitely be inviting if you and your partner um, were laying in the bed watching uh, a movie, whatever. And if anybody has any suggestions for any movies that's out there, let me know. Let me know, because I need some. I need some picks. Okay, so. Once again, that is Dolce & Gabbana's Intenso. All right. So those are five fragrances that are more geared towards the uh, colder weather, but you can definitely pull these off in the warmer weather. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, you know, and hit the notification bell just in case if I pop out again, which I will. You know, I was on a little bit of a hiatus, but I'm back. All right. So I love y'all. See y'all on the next one. Peace.